What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at it again with another video and I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there man, hopefully you guys are enjoying some good food, spending some quality time with family and friends and I just also want to say thank you to everyone that has been supporting me and this channel, I'm so thankful for all the subscribers that have come my way. I started this channel in February of this year um, with the motivation of Dub. I, I was kind of procrastinating and uh, he was the one that really got behind me on starting this channel this year and I didn't think it would grow this much. Some for, To some people, 5,000 is not a lot, but to me, it's a lot because that's 5,000 of y'all chose to watch me talk about my wrestling takes or check out my movie reviews or check out my vlogs like you didn't have to you didn't have to subscribe to me and i appreciate that so much so enough of the little sentimental moments just wanted to get that out on thanksgiving day let's talk about AEW and nxt from last night first things first um and i think that's my dog Yeah, my dog just opened up the door. No lie, no cap. Well, I'm, I think I'm going to keep that in the video. But yeah, um, first things first, AEW had their little uh, Chris Jericho appreciation night. It was hilarious. Jericho is one of the best heels in the industry, and he's also entertaining. That's what makes his character actually kind of likable. Yes, he can be an asshole, when he needs to be, he can turn up the heel factor, but he's entertaining as hell, and it makes you want to watch him. That whole segment was funny as hell. I like the fact that he capitalized on the a little bit of the bubbly. He capitalized on that, and I, uh, he created a champagne line, probably like a limited edition, you know what I'm saying? So I'm guessing you can order it. And uh, you can get a little bit of a bubbly. It has like that the logo, like the little the logo on the bottle. And I'm pretty sure people are gonna buy that since it's gonna be in limited quantity. I'm pretty sure they're gonna sell out just off that alone. So he's capitalizing on his catchphrases and he's making money off that man. And that's that's wrestling, bro. You capitalize on something organic and it just comes out to be something even better. So it's become a meme at this point. So that whole segment was entertaining. Of course, uh, SCU, uh, they were one of like the little marching band members and they ended up attacking Chris Jericho at the end to lead up for Scorpio Sky versus Chris Jericho for the uh, AEW World Championship. And I. Um, I'm probably just going to talk about the highlights of the show. Um, for me, the other highlight was after the match. After the match was over, uh, Chris Jericho, which if we knew he was going to get the win. They made it believable, which I like that Scorpio Sky had a chance. He got the win, ended up submitting to the walls to Jericho. Then Jericho put the walls to Jericho on him again after the match was over to add insult to injury. And that is when none other than John Moxley starts walking through the crowd he doesn't come down to the ring he just walks through the crowd and you know where this is leading to and this is so entertaining because i didn't think they were gonna go with the john moxley versus um chris jericho feud as soon as uh as this but this is sign me up man because honestly John Moxley is one of the hottest things in AEW. Chris Jericho is the, the hottest thing in AEW at this point. And at some point, they were going to cross paths. So the fact that they're now starting to size each other up is going to make for some entertaining television. Do I think he will get the title off the first try? I don't think so. I think you want to keep building... Chris Jericho's momentum as a heel even more because John Moxley's over as hell. People want him to see him as the AEW champ, so you build that up. But I do feel like at some point he will get the strap, and I'm looking forward to that. So let me know. Comment down below. If y'all are looking forward to the John Moxley and uh, Chris Jericho feud, 
Because me personally, I think it's going to be some great television. So those were the highlights for me. I know Kenny Omega got his win back over Pac. That was pretty cool. And everything else I, I kind of tuned into, but I wasn't really too much paying attention to. So for me, uh, uh, AEW for me, um, it was a decent episode. Uh, I'd probably give like a, a 7 out of 10. Uh, let me know if uh, how y'all felt about the show. But the show that I enjoyed more this week was NXT, man. NXT had a nice show this week. I enjoyed it. They're starting to plant some more seeds after the uh, the fallout from Survivor Series and War Games. I love, I love the fact that the whole roster comes out there, celebrate their win over SmackDown and Raw and Survivor Series. AEW, they, not AEW, I'm tripping. Undisputed comes out there and they're basically like, yo, guys, whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all should be thanking us because we are the reason why NXT got the dub over SmackDown and Raw. We are the guys. Y'all should be thanking us. Y'all didn't really do nothing. We we took care of business. And I like how they set up a match with, between Keith Lee and Dominic Dijakovic versus uh, the Undisputed Era tag team champs. They set up a match between them and, you know, of course, Tommaso's like, yeah, I'm I'm coming for Goldie. You feel me? Don't don't get it twisted, madam. It ain't over between us. And then Finn Balor comes out there. And they end up having a match. Tommaso Ciampa versus Finn Balor at the main event slot. That was dope. That's honestly, that's an NXT takeover caliber match. I don't believe they faced each other. At any point ever, so that was a first time ever match, if I'm not mistaken. And the fact that we're getting some more seeds being planted here is hella entertaining. Um, towards the end of that main event match, um, Adam Cole comes out there with the slight distraction, which gives Finn Balor the dub. Because once again, Tommaso, he can take an L. Uh, Granted, it wasn't a clean L. He can afford a loss, but Finn Balor is got this new character, like this new character arc. So you got to build him up as a credible threat. He got the dub, and you thinking he's gonna align with Adam Cole because they've been teasing that, and then he straight up hits him with a Pele kick to the dome. It's like, no, bro, I'm not aligning with you. What, what do you, what do you think this is? You think I'm I'm going to be cool with you? No. Push come to shove. I'll take that championship from you too. And I like that. So I don't know. Maybe we do get a triple threat match uh, at the uh, next takeover. Maybe we get a triple threat match. I think that would be entertaining. Adam Cole versus Finn Balor versus Tommaso Ciampa. That would be entertaining as hell so it's going to be interesting to see what adam cole has to say about the pele kick it's going to be interesting to see what finn balor has to say and i'm looking forward to just where they're taking the championship the nxt championship title scene i'm looking forward to where they're going to steer this feud to so overall for me nxt was more enjoyable i would give that a solid uh it was a solid it was a solid eight. Uh, the tag team match at the beginning of the show was entertaining, of course, undisputed, undisputed era. They win by a result of some shenanigans, as always. But it was still an entertaining match. And um, I'm just looking forward to where they, they take some of these feuds. I'm also looking forward to Rhea Ripley getting some of uh, Shayna Baszler, man, getting getting some of that action, man. I'm looking forward to that, too. They had a nice little confrontation in the ring. Um, but, yeah, 8 out of 10 for me personally. Let me know if y'all enjoyed the show as well. But out of both shows, NXT got the dub for me again this week. We will see what happens next week. Either way, both shows are both entertaining. Let me know. Comment down below which show y'all enjoyed more this week. And also comment down below what y'all eating for Thanksgiving, man. What y'all eating today for Thanksgiving. I want to know what's on the menu at y'all crib. So, but I appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.